Hi, welcome to Sim Repeat. My name's Sue and today I'm going to share what to do with discarded starter. I'm going to share my spelt crumpets with my sourdough starter. So if you'd like to see how to make it, come with me and let's see. So it's best to use a non-stick pan. So I've got my non-stick pan heating up here. In this jug, I've got my 250 grams of spelt sourdough starter and into that I'm going to add one tablespoon of white sugar, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, just give that a little bit of a mix around. Next we're going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda or bicarb soda as it's called in the UK and Australia and to make it all go bubbly or even more bubbly I'm adding a tablespoon of white vinegar. Just give it a stir. We should have quite a thick batter, but you might think, oh Sue, look, my batter's a bit thick, and I think mine's a bit thick today. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of just water. This is just room temperature. Because so we want it to be more like a pancake batter or a thick pancake batter. Depends on how much water you've used to feed your starter. Uh, I think maybe we could even go a little bit more water. So I've gone up to four tablespoons. And I'm going to make four um, crumpets today. You can double the recipe if you like. I have been trying to experiment because I thought people would say to me, can I do it without a starter? So I've been experimenting just with spelt flour and without the sourdough starter, and they're not as good. So I need to keep testing that, but this one is amazing. And it takes crumpet eating to another level. So here I've got rings that are 10 centimetres and I've greased them with a bit of butter. So all I do, I'll show you, I've got a bit of butter in here. I've tried it with oil and I don't like the way it responds. So I just brush the butter like I'm painting the inside of the ring. So then I put the ring on the, the pan here and then I scoop out about, I'm just going to measure it with, um, whoops, I'm going to take that out, with a third of a cup. And I'll zoom you in after the first one to show you. Whoops, I'll just put it on the side. Then that'll take about five minutes to cook on the one side. So I'm going to zoom you in now. I've got my induction hob here on level two. If you're doing it on an induction stovetop, I usually do it on a, a level five. We don't want to burn the bottom. We want to get it nice and crunchy. So it takes a little bit of time. So we've got the bubbles appearing and grab a pair of tongs on standby. And I've got a little plastic knife. So I need to like move the knife around the ring to re release, to release the ring. <laughs> so we have about 40 seconds to go and this is almost cooked on the top, which is perfect. So I'll start trying to release some of this outside edge. So that's my timer. Let's try and flip it over. Golden brown, exactly what I wanted to show you. Let's try and release this ring. So I've buttered it nicely. And the next side only needs about a minute or so. And that's one done. I probably could have left it a bit longer so I've got the bubble still appearing. Let's pour another one. Whoops, I need the ring on there first, Sue. Pop the ring on. Actually, my batter's gone even thicker sitting there, so I'm going to add a little bit more water. I'll set my timer for five minutes. It's got about 30 seconds to go. I'm going to give it one more minute today. I want to try and get all those bubbles still showing when I flip it over. I can start trying to release the edge. 
I managed to get that one a little bit crunchier on the bottom. That's what I was looking for. More bubbles like that. So the crumpets are all cooked. And as a child, we had these in Australia growing up and they're always a store-bought crumpet and we'd toast them and have them with butter and honey. The fresh ones, I like them now with jam. So I've got a berry jam here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. I'm just gonna try half. And I'll pop some photos up above so you can see what they look like close up. Now these have cooled down because I've been doing photographs and things like that. Um, so they're actually perfect when they're just out of the pan, but they'll still taste pretty good. So just add a little bit of butter to the top and some of this berry jam. I haven't had lunch, so I'm actually really hungry. So look at that spongy goodness. Mm. I love the sourness of the starter. Mm. And when they're first cooked and you eat them from the pan, the base is still like warm and crispy and crunchy. So much better than the store-bought ones. So if you're nostalgic like me and remember eating crumpets as a child and you're, or even as an adult and you want to try making your own homemade sourdough crumpets, try this recipe. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And I'll still keep working on a, a recipe made without the starter. And I'll pop a few other recipes up above. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.